New clues emerging into the deadly stabbing of a girl inside a classroom at Warren Fitzgerald High School. At a hearing today, the suspect's former boyfriend took the stand and revealed what he believes is the motive in the case. Coco McAvoy following this for us. She's in Warren tonight. Uh, Coco, he says rumors basically sparked the whole thing. Yes, rumors and jealousy may have contributed to this deadly attack. And today in court, text messages from the suspect were read aloud and they revealed disturbing new details. Tanea Lewis sat silently, keeping her head down in court as witnesses revealed chilling details about the day 16 year old Diana Gibson was stabbed to death. She is laying face down and there's blood around her. Lewis's ex-boyfriend, Evan Grospe, spoke of a controlling relationship, saying Lewis didn't like his friendship with Diana. She was yelling at me like, don't have no girl in my house, don't, go don't have no girl at your house. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to talk to no girls. She's not allowed over anymore. He says Diana told him Lewis cheated on him, and he asked Lewis about it directly. What were her responses? You weren't supposed to find out about this. I'm a I was supposed to take this to my grave. He says Lewis figured out Diana was the source of the information, and then moments before the stabbing, he got a confusing text message from Lewis. She keeps asking me, do you like Diana? Do you like Diana? And I'm telling her, no, I don't have to tell you. And she goes, it's time. And I'm like, what do you mean? And that's when he found out Diana had been stabbed repeatedly inside of a classroom. I text her again asking, what'd you do? Why'd you do this? There could have been another way but she never responded. Now, Lewis will have to answer to a judge in the murder of her classmate, Diana Gibson. Such an awful story. And coming up at six o'clock, you'll hear from the teacher who was inside the classroom during that stabbing.